Hi there, my name is Marco and I want to show you how easy it is to make Gutenberg blocks with Pine Grow. And as an example, I've uh, selected one of these wonderful frames from Automatic CSS, Kevin Geary. Especially we want to replicate the cross section, which is this one. This is a section with a card and also with this section heading inside. So this is the complete build. And if you use Brickstand, it's very easy. If you own automatic CSS and the frames library, you can just go to the page, choose the template which is named Victor and insert this feature section Victor. This is how it looks inside of Bricks and you can style however you want it, but it's easy and it's done for you. So the question for me is how to build this inside of Pine Grow so we can use this elements as blocks. In my projects, I usually create a section where I can add other blocks inside. So I create my own section instead of using the group from Core WordPress. Let's start. First, we will go into Pine Grow. I've built already the structure and the section. You can see it here. This is what I've done. It's exactly the same as the frames version but I renamed the CSS classes and so on to match my own naming, but in fact, it's a one-to-one -one copy of Kevin Geary's code. So thanks for that. And I just want to use it as a demonstration. Let's take a look at the structure first. It's the section. This will be a Gutenberg block for its own. Inside this, we will have this container. And inside of the container, we will create this intro alpha block. Then we will create a grid block with four columns as default. We will not make it co uh, configurable, but for demonstration purposes, I will just build this block with four columns. Then we will build this card as a Gutenberg block. And yeah, let's go. First of all, inside of the project settings, the project type is set to plugin. Plugin name, slug, folder where the code gets exported to, and version one will increment it on each export. And as block type, I've chosen the hybrid blocks here because this is the best of two worlds. You have PHP templating and you have React blocks in the backend. Okay, let's save this. Now we know our structure here it's section first then we will have the intro alpha with this three elements the accent heading the heading and this lead paragraph here and then we will create the, the card we will go from outside and we'll work our way inside of the structure so let's start with the uh, section here we will add a block action here and Let's name this section. Oops, section. And we will create our custom category for this. Let's name this frame blocks. And we will register this. Okay. Then the block needs an inner content. And for now, we will just leave as is. The next uh, block we will build is the container. Let's copy this ID. I don't know why it's not in this drop down here. It should be. Okay, let's save. Then this is done. We can now uh, check if this works. We will export the plugin. Then I will go inside of the 
project here. And you can see in this demo, I've just installed automatic C CSS because that's a um, requirement for my blocks. I use automatic CSS variables. Then we have our exported blocks plugin that I've created in PineGrow. Then we have our ACSS frames blocks plugin, which is the one I've exported or created here. It's this one. And let's activate and see what we get. Let's go to a new page and let's take a look inside of our blocks list. We have this new created category frames blocks and we have a container which we can see here and we have a section. So let's remove this. First we need a section. Okay and as you can see here we can find our three containers already. The content is copied from PineGrow as a default that will change shortly if we created our blocks like we want to. But I just wanted to show you that it's possible to add our section here and uh, the three containers are added also. There is no inner content here. We will change that in a second. So let's go to our container. This is a block and we need an inner content for it. Okay, if we go to export and we reload the page. Oh, first let's save and then reload. Now, as we have defined that our container can have inner content, now it's empty and we can add whatever we want here. Okay. Then the next thing is our intro alpha block. Oh man, category is frame blocks. Now our block needs editable content. So we will start with the accent heading. The next will be the heading itself. Then the lead paragraph and that's it. Now we can go to save and export and we can try this. Reload the page. Let's go to the intro alpha and it's exported here as an example three times inside of our container. So let's remove this too. It's easier to understand what's going on here. Okay, now we have our section heading. I can write my text here. We cannot see the text very well because there are no settings for changing the color of text and so on. But maybe we can use text white. Don't know if this works. No, it's not. So let's go to text. Okay, that's a thing. Uh, can change later on. Let's just check in front end and we can see it's exactly the same here. Okay, well, let's go back to Pine Grow. And now let's create our grid list block. I will name it for column grid list. Okay, custom frame blocks. And then we need inner content for this and our card is a block itself. This is our card Victor. Then we will have this heading or oh, let's start with the label. Go to then we will take care of the link later. First, we will uh, make the homework. The next thing is the attribute for description. 
and then the label is done already so next one is the image 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 as a default image size i will go to medium large okay that's it for now let's test what we can do export reload and let's try okay here's the intro alpha there's the four column list which we can see here and there is a section okay what's missing it's the card itself card victor okay i didn't edit it to the category so it would be found in text here yeah card victor okay let's change that and now next thing is we want to try it out reload the page go here card victor is still here in text let's check category frame blocks save exports refresh yes that's it okay now you can see already inside of this uh, preview here that the uh, CSS styling is missing because we have to load it inside of our block uh, configuration. It's not available globally uh, because we didn't export anything for CSS for now. So let's do this. As you can see in CSS, I've created a bunch of files, which one is SCSS file and a compiled CSS file for the card vector, for the grid, for intro alpha, for section. So inside of each block, we will use this styles. Here is our section block and inside of the configuration, we will use this style CSS and then section. Then for the, this is the container. Let's use the container style for this. No, we don't need it because it's loaded inside of the section. Next is intro alpha style intro alpha next is our grid list style grid and then our card card vector okay now each of our blocks has its styling and let's check if we save and export if we can see it here already okay as you can see the uh, intro is already styled it's is centered so let's take a look to the previews here in card yeah that's better now okay so let's check our structure we have the container and inside the container we have intro alpha let's add another container here and inside we remove the intro alpha instead we will use our grid our column grid and as you can see because we have our block inside here configured it's it's used as default here perfect now we can go into each of these four cards and change our settings here we can take another image and we can go here and change the label one we cannot click here and edit inline because the problem is we have used the clickable parent function and this is taking effect also here in block editor so this is the link so we cannot reach one of these elements here directly we can just click here and then go to the block properties and then change it here okay that's it uh, we can now take a look to the front end 
And as you can see, it's wonderful. And it was very easy. We want to have the possibility to change the font size maybe. So let's go to our section and go to the supports function here. We want to change the background color and text colors. And maybe that's it already. Let's export again, refresh or check out here. We can use another text color. Okay, that's working partially. It's uh, not working perfectly, but we will get there. Okay, let's go to our CSS for the intro alpha and go to the heading color current color so then it should work oh did i export let's test no it's not Oh, I'm inside of the uh, accent heading here. That's not, not what we want. We want inside of the heading. Okay. My fault. Sorry. Let's go to intro alpha and go to styling. We don't have a class here. So let's create one. And then we can go here and say color current color or inherit this should work now let's check yeah that's working now just added the current color for alpha heading and now it works so we can configure the font um, color here with with our block settings. Let's take a look in the front end. Yes, this is working here, but not in the block editor. That's, yeah. As you might know, the block editor is a little bit tricky with styling, so yeah. But I think it's okay for now. Let's go back here and change it to white again. And that's it. I think the only the only thing we want to change now is the linking of the cards because as you can see for now it's just an A tag uh, here inside of the um, heading. So let's check how can we handle this. Okay, let's go to the H3 and let's add another block attribute add attribute and now let's say link use as link and this should be fine let's export again reload page go here and now we can set a link unfortunately we have already saved our link inside of the heading here but we can easily check this. Let's just remove our thing here. Oh, and column list. Now, if we go here, we can. Oh, we have our A tag here. Use as none. So then let's go here. Attribute link use as link that should be fine we use exactly the same id here and here so oh okay it's not working as expected let's take this here remove it copy this and go here
that should work now. Reload. Okay, now we have our heading text and we have our link here. We can go here and link to whatever post we want. And this links to the front page and it's working. Okay, that's it. Here in, in editor, we have this problem with the H2 here, but for now it's okay. I wanted to demonstrate that it's not that hard to create nested Gutenberg blocks inside of Pinegrow. The the one thing I would maybe would um, work out a little bit better is that you can only use the, con the block type container inside of a section. That can be done very easily. You can uh, go to to this and use your container and inside of the section we can say the a load block types is container and we have to prefix this with our plugin slug. So the format is plugin slug slash container. Now it should be only possible to insert these container blocks here and inside of the container block we want to be able to insert everything as we want. Then inside of the, I don't know if, if we can, yeah, we can, we can go here and say we want to have a paragraph here. I think, generate. Let's go here and not use intro alpha, which is the default, as you can see here. Let's go and take the core paragraph and if we do this, we have the default behavior as you would expect. If we add a new container to to a section, then it's empty. It's just with a paragraph and it can be replaced very easily. That's how the default behavior of the block editor is working. So export and let's refresh, go here and add another container. Yes, you can see now if we go to our section and we want to add something. Oh, let's go here. Section. We just can add another container here. As you can see, we can not add another container or block type to the section anymore. This is perfect. And now, as you can see inside of it, it's no more the intro section here added, but the paragraph. So it's empty and we can add whatever we want. That's a better behavior. Okay. I think that's it for the demonstration. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.